Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. Last week, City Councilor George Darcy let his supporters know that he does not plan to run for re-election in Ward 3 this year. Instead, he plans to run for an at-large seat. However, a new candidate, Barbara ayala Rugdeal, has pulled papers to run in Ward 3. There's also now a challenger in Ward 4, John Tracy, and a new at-large candidate, Richard Hines. Assuming all the candidates who have pulled papers get enough signatures, there will be a preliminary election in September for mayor at-large in Ward 3. The deadline for candidates to collect signatures is June 30th, so there's still time for additional candidates to jump into the race. Last week, the City Council Finance Committee held hearings to discuss the proposed budget for fiscal year 2024. The mayor sent the council a budget totaling about $328 million, which is an increase of about 6.2% over last year. The school budget has a slightly larger increase of about 7%, which the mayor said is due to increased salaries. She said she received budgets from departments totaling about $336 million and cut that by about $8 million before presenting it to the council. The council is expected to vote on the budget at a special meeting on June 20th at 7.30 p.m. During the discussion of the budget for the Consolidated Public Works Department, counselors asked Director Michael Chasen about the possibility of changing Waltham's trash pickup system to a green bin system similar to neighboring towns. Under that system, the city would provide trash bins to residents, but we would be limited on how much trash we could put out per week. Chasen said it would take about six months to a year to implement a change and would require him to hire an additional staff member. However, he said Waltham would become eligible for certain grants if we implement trash limits and suggested this may be the only realistic way to resolve the problem of trash on our streets. We know if we don't work on the trash piece, the, the rat piece is, um, is gonna continue to be where it's at. So the plan is to continue to do that, right? Or you go to carts and then you don't have to worry about people putting them in their own barrels because right. they're given a barrel. Right, but that's like, we just talked about that. I, I, I want to be able to get through the summer. And, yes, you know, we future. Have future, 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 right? We'll always talk about the future here and dream a little dream, but um, I want to just make sure that that, that enforcement is continuing and you do have a plan for that. Yeah, I'll just say this. I know future, future, but if it doesn't happen, the issue is never going to go away. We can't enforce people to do things they don't want to do. And when, if there aren't barrels that they're given with covers, yeah. the problem is never going to end. You're Terms giving them the option, yeah. like, here, you don't have an option. This is what you need to use. This will keep the rats away. Other cities are blaming us because they have those carts. We don't. So until that changes... That's, that's your answer. We're fighting an uphill battle. Yeah, but there's an answer. I hear you. Councillor Vidal used the budget hearings as an opportunity to question the historical commission and certain other committees about why they meet on Zoom rather than in person. Why are you still meeting via Zoom? Well, well most of our commissions and boards and this body itself, we're meeting in person now. I think you and the Conservation Commission are the only for some reason, uh, the I organization. The CPC is also. Yeah, the CPC, you're right. I did talk to on, on Cons Zoom. Uh, Mr. Barrett and, yesterday. About and it. The, the reason is, is uh, well, there are a number of reasons. I think we mentioned this last time. That, that uh, first of all, that room uh, in the basement mm -hmm. where we meet uh, is very closed. And so uh, it's not well ventilated. Um, and it has a much higher uh, potential. For what? Transmittal of, of, come on, you know of what? COVID, you mean? COVID, Oh, yes. COVID, I, I wasn't sure. I, I, I wasn't <laughs> so, sure what you were referring to because you guys met there before COVID happened, correct? Yes, we met there before okay. COVID happened. Are you looking yeah. for a new place to however, meet? However, let, let, let me say that, that there are advantages to meeting on Zoom. At the beginning of the pandemic, the state set new rules for open meetings that allow Zoom meetings. While other COVID provisions have expired, that one is still in effect. And the Historical Commission, Conservation Commission, and Community Preservation Committee have opted to continue meeting on Zoom. However, Councillor Vidal asked Mayor McCarthy to put pressure on them to go back to meeting in person. Opponents of the proposed solar plant near the Cambridge Reservoir showed up to the June 5th City Council meeting, and councillors discussed the possibility of Waltham suing the town of Lexington, which has approved the project. The plan would be in Lexington, but abutting a residential neighborhood in Waltham. 
You may recall Waltham has already been to court over this project and lost. State law requires cities and towns to allow solar plants with reasonable restrictions. When Waltham told the developers they could not build an access room through the residential neighborhood, the developers sued and the court found this was not reasonable. At this meeting, city councilors discussed suing Lexington on the grounds that the plant poses health and safety risks to Waltham neighbors. The citizen input hearing for the proposed housing rights notification ordinance will take place this coming Tuesday, June 21st at 6.30 p.m. at 119 School Street and watch CDC and other housing advocacy groups are urging people to attend. Waltham Riverfest is taking place today and tomorrow, that's Saturday the 17th, along the river. On Monday the 19th, the Waltham Boys and Girls Club is having a Juneteenth celebration on the Common. This month's critical mass bike ride will take place on Saturday, June 24th, starting at City Hall. The Waltham Children's Business Fair will take place on the Common on the 24th and 25th. No debrief show this week, but if you haven't already, be sure to check out our special report on the proposed sober house in Waltham and the resistance to it from neighbors featuring nurse Kara Mahoney. Thank you very much for watching.